1993 Toyota Tercel CV axle. Pretty much the same whether it's the left side or the right side. This is the passenger side. Pretty, pretty good a hole in it leaking out there. So you get the tire off, 21 millimeter lug nuts. You can probably take the center cap off. I think what I would do is take the wheel off, jack it up, and then you gotta take take the cotter key out of the hole. Right here, cotter key. And you take this off. And take the nut off right there. It's uh, 1 and 3 sixteenths is the socket I used to get it off. And then at that point, maybe after you get the cotter key and the cage off, put the tire back on, lower it down, then you can break it loose. Probably with a wheel on the ground and the emergency brake set if you need to, if it's a manual. Once it's broken off, you broken off, broken loose, you can uh, get it back up in there and take the tire off and keep working. Put the nut off. Here we got two nuts and one bolt, 14 millimeter. And that comes loose. Check this out like that. And we'll just push this out. Just like that. Look at these split. I don't plan on getting a pry bar in here and uh, just trying to pry this out. There's just a uh, like a C clip inside that kind of holds this in place. So we'll see what we can do here. Some fluid may or may not come out. But I do have a container underneath now to catch it if it does. You might need your biggest, uh, biggest screwdriver to get on the edge here. Found it. Go hammer and screwdriver. Pound it on there. We'll see some fluids leaking out, and we can just uh, pull it out. There's the clip. It's talking about just holds it in place. So you just put the new one in there and uh, make sure it engages those splines and push it in as far as you can. And then uh, with the axle as straight as you can, usually sometimes you need a hammer and tap it into place and sometimes you can just push it into place. So you'll see it snap into place. And just make sure the new one's in the same spot the old one was and that'll probably tell you it's, it's good. Do it yourself. So have the new axle, new axle, and engaged in the splines, and get a few turns, and just give it a good couple smacks, and usually it'll go into place. Sometimes I do have to use a hammer, but most of the time I can just force it in, and you can see the new one is uh, all the way installed. So reverse procedure to install.
the nut started. Got the bolts started and the nuts down there. And that's uh, really all there is to it. Tighten them up and put the wheel on. And we have about 166 foot pounds for the axle shaft nut and uh, about 59 foot pounds for the lower control arm. Uh, those nuts and bolts. And the wheel lug nuts are like 76 to 80 foot pounds. So that should uh, help you finish your job if you happen to have a nice torque wrench.